Okay, so this video is about the C1U. I can tell you right now, it's a very good microphone. It's very cheap. I normally use this MXL770 with the ID4, and that's quite an expensive setup. The C1U by itself contains an audio interface internally, so I don't need the extra audio interface to go with the microphone. It's a cardoid condenser microphone, just like the MXL770, but it's USB and plugs straight into my computer. USB 3. Don't use USB 2. You'll see you'll have issues with it, especially volume and pitch, I've also noticed. Anyway, I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so the computer, or Windows 10, will auto install the drivers. Next thing is to open up sound settings. Sound control panel, the old style is the one that you want. When you first plug it in on playback, it will think that the microphone is a speaker, so disable that. And on recording, these are the settings. These are the defaults for me. Levels, advanced. You can now listen to the device by clicking that, but I'm not gonna use that. Okay, that is perfect. Now to configure it so that I can hear it in OBS file settings. These are my OBS settings, audio auxiliary one. I have my ID4 interface there that my XML770 is plugged into. On auxiliary two, I've got CU1. Okay, now let's mute the MXL770. And now the C1U is enabled. To hear the output, click this gear icon, select advanced audio properties, and then monitor and output, close. Very good. So I can hear that now. It sounds quite okay. That's the MXL770. And that's the C1U. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They both sound pretty good. I have filters installed on my MXL770 so you can see that when I don't talk, there is absolute silence. I don't have filters on the C1U. So if I don't talk, you can see there's some problems. The C1U seems quite sensitive to interference. For example, if I put this next to a light, you can hear that. Another light, and especially next to my network switch. That's very loud. If you have those problems, I'll show you how to set your filters now. In OBS, in your audio mixer settings for your C1U, click the gear icon, filters, add noise suppression, press OK. Instantly you can see that when I stop talking, it goes to absolute silence. Okay, so that default is very, very good. Okay, so the next one, let's add noise gate. We'll leave that as defaults. Now, noise gate is good for not detecting sounds that are far away from your microphone. For example, key presses or noises on your table. Right now, I'm tapping my table and keyboard. And you can't actually hear it. But if I was to turn that off. You can see that the meter can detect that. So turn that back on. And now the noise gate is cutting that sound out in the background. The next one is a compressor. Now the compressor is good for sudden volume changes, such as right now I'm speaking loudly, and right now I'm speaking quite softly. And the compressor keeps a quite even volume regardless. So these three filters, just using defaults, are very good for this mic. Okay, so let's compare the difference now with the C1U with the MXL770. This is the MXL770. It's quite an expensive setup when used with the ID4. This is the C1U. It's a complete unit in itself. And it's probably about one sixth of the price of those two there. So it's C1U. Excellent. I guess leave a comment describing which you find is a better microphone. This is the C1U. This is the MXL770 with the ID4. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.